Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. Um, and this will be for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, this reading will go approximately the 12th to the 18th, but I can tell you now the readings don't always pan out in the required time. Um, Spirit doesn't see this as a particular time really. They're still giving us the same information that we've always got, so it's quite interesting. Uh, Please remember, though, if the reading doesn't fit, don't wear it. Okay. Oh, I'm using the Gold and Black Tarot by Los Scarabeo. Los Scarabeo. Okay, so we have the world coming out here for you. Now, the world card can sometimes mean going on a long trip somewhere but I very much doubt that you're doing this at this time. Um, it also signifies the end of a cycle so sometimes when we've been through um, you know all the lessons through the tarot then we end up at this card which sort of signifies the ending. Something is ending for you or changing for you um, because that's what okay all right there could be a couple of things here because this card here, the devil card can represent ego. It can represent narcissism. Um, it can also represent addiction, obsession, uh, lust, drug addic addiction, um, alcohol addiction. Something here is changing. Um, you could be put in the end or you could be deciding to cut something out in your life that is perhaps toxic. Um, could be some sort of addiction, but it's more likely here that you are moving away from somebody who possibly is um, narcissistic or has an addiction themselves. Um, there is a brand new start here coming out with the fool. So you're definitely moving away from something, but there's heartbreak here. Um, Queen of Wands coming up at the end here so and there's a victory card. Um, I feel that there's something you're moving away from here that you're closing out and I want to say to you even though it's creating a lot of heartbreak here there seems to be an energy of um, you know knowing this situation's right you could be dealing with a fire sign Leo Sag or Aries here um, this situation, despite the fact you're taking a leap of faith, moving away from it is the right thing to do. Um, the devil energy could also signify that you've seen through the ego, that you've managed to understand how the ego plays a part in your life. Um, and you could be moving away from that. Whatever you're moving away from here, it is causing a great deal of heartbreak. But there's a victory card. So that says to me, whatever changes you're now making in your life are the changes you had to make for the greater good of yourself. Let's get some more information. Okay. Six of Swords. So definitely moving away from something. Now, Six of Swords is, is a really nice card. It talks of moving away and not going back, but it also talks about the fact that we've learned the lessons that we should have learned within this time. Um, these lessons are possibly around communication, um, possibly around being able to let things go that don't serve you, but definitely moving away from things that really don't serve your purpose here. Oh my goodness gracious, what are you? It's like all the cards talk about you moving away from something at the moment. This is moving away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling. Um, the Eight of Cups is about going to seek your own cup, um, going to, you've understood the value of self-love um, and moving away from some sort of situation. Okay, so as the Emperor here, you've taken your power back. So you've started to understand your personal power in a situation and that's why you're moving away here. Okay, there is a bit of balance that needs to be taken into consideration with the Two of Pentacles. And there's been a lot of conflict, so you might be fairly scarred from this process. And that says it all, doesn't it? End of the cycle. End of a cycle. Okay, and now healing with the hanged man. Okay, I'll put some more cards out and we'll give it a good going over. There's quite a few sort of heavy duty cards here. 
um, I do have the Hermit card coming out. So you've got the Hanged Man and the Hermit card together. But we do have the Wish card coming in here with the Nine of Cups. So something good is happening here, even though it may not feel like it at the time. Okay, so Five of Cups, something very heavy has gone down here. Okay, so we have you fi finishing out a cycle here. It's the end of some sort of addiction, um, end of a person, end of a situation, um, but something you're leaving behind here could be that you're um, leaving some of the things about yourself behind. You could be making a lot of self changes, especially with some of the other cards coming up. So you've had some sort of realisation here and you're taking this leap of faith. Major Arcanas, we have several Major Arcanas here, so this is big stuff. I feel like you've had to face some sort of heartbreak, possibly with a fire sign, but you're coming out at the end here and look, you have the magician here. So you're coming through this six of um, six of wands energy. So you are coming to a point where you are understanding your own journey and what you must do. So you're listening to your higher self, spirit, God, whatever you deem as your person your spirit guides um you're now listening you're not you're no longer following the pack um you're moving away from something and taking your power back and there has had to have been a lot of bad balance and decision making in this situation i feel that you've faced a lot of conflict i feel that you've probably felt a little bit stabbed in the back so it hasn't been a nice process for you but you are healing now and there's some sort of wish that's waiting to come in for you here. Yet yeah, we've got the strength card. Ah, oh, okay. It's not ending. It's not ended. So I think you may be in amongst this at the moment. Um, there is a lot of healing cards here. So there's a lot going down. Um, I feel like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I really feel through this reading that you are understanding the big picture here. You're no longer looking at the detail. You have your eye on the prize. And even if that means going through some pain and uncertainty, you're willing to take the journey now. You're trying to find balance throughout this, which says to me somehow here you're trying not to go backwards um, and you're trying to keep your eyes going forwards and trying to keep your emotions in check. Um, and some of this has meant you've had to really look deep inside yourself. You may be on a personal journey as well as some other journeys. So there may be more than one reason for you moving forward here. This isn't just a, a situation. It looks to me like you're walking away from um, something that's created a great deal of conflict and pain in your life. So you could be walking away from a job, you could be walking away from a family, you could be walking away from a family business um, or other things that are invested. So you may not just be walking away from a person or a situation. There seems to be multi-dimensional reasons for you walking away from something. Um, you could have a lot of finances tied up in this. It could be a marriage Um but whatever it is here, you found your strength. You may have gone through a dark night of the soul here because we do have cards here that show me that even though the sadness is here, on the other side of sadness is this great strength you found within yourself. Um, and that's what you've got to keep your eye on here with this two of pentacles so you don't lose balance. It's almost like you're, you're worried about wavering here or going back on the decision you've made. Um, but it looks like with this wish card here, you're going to get what you want and you're going to reach a destination um, that will give you more enlightenment than what the one you, the path you've currently been on. So I feel like the universe has got some surprises ahead for you here um, because you've, you've made this decision. Okay, yeah, well, there you go. That sort of says it all, doesn't it? I've got the card of the ancient ones here. Um, it's card number one, which, of course, is the beginning of a new journey. So that would make a whole lot of sense, too. Alrighty. The Ancient Ones are inviting you to reach to the future to help birth a new destiny for the Earth. Go ahead, find out who you're becoming 10,000 years from now. If you accept the invitation, great power and blessings will come your way and allow you to craft a new destiny for yourself. 
Do not hesitate to bite off more than you can chew because you have unlimited spiritual resources right now. So you are being guided here. Have a great week, Cancer.